Welcome everyone to this exciting interview segment. Today we have the pleasure of sitting down with Paula Broncati, star of the movie Since Really Truly Christmas. Join us as we delve into Paula's insight into her character and the challenges of filming this movie. Thank you for being with us, uh, Paula. <laughs> Hi, thank you so much for having me. <laughs> It's a pleasure. So, can you tell us a little bit about your character in Sincerely Truly Christmas? Yes, I play Christina Martino and she works at a Spotify-esque company called Popperatic and she's really good at her job and she's um, a hard worker, but she is such a truth teller, our girl, um, cannot tell a lie and she fumbles at work and says how she really feels about a musician that they've just hired and she gets fired. So she very badly needs to get her job back and this... Um, Uh, pushes her in a scenario where she meets a lovely fellow played by my friend Jake Epstein and they get up into hijinks together to try and get her job back and and uh, and and make Christmas perfect for her but um, lucky for her she also develops a power where she can hear what everybody wants for Christmas so this allows her to get what she needs <laughs> great and, uh, what initially attracted you to your role in this movie For me, there were a few things that attracted me. Um, I'd been doing a lot of horror, which I love doing. I'm on a show called Slasher. So I'd been screaming and crying for a few months. And this script landed in my inbox and was being directed by one of my frequent collaborators and old friend, Sean Sesterna. We did our first project together with Jake Epstein over 20 years ago called Ricky's Room. We did Moon Point together. We shot a movie in Italy together called From the Vine. So he reached out and wondered if I'd be interested and also said he'd be reaching out to Jake, who I've worked with in several plays and I love Jake. And so it just felt like this beautiful mix and getting to do a rom-com and a Christmas rom-com um, was such a different tone than other parts I'd been doing recently. So it was such a, just a really nice, um, um, you know, thing to, a space to play in and really light, fun, fair and really funny script by Matt Thaler. And um, there was a musical component where we got to sing a little bit. So there were lots of The things that attracted me but mostly when you get to work with with old friends and I got to meet so many people uh, that I really love on this that's one of the best you know um parts of of working in this industry for sure great and uh, what do you think makes this movie so special and captivating I think what makes this movie so special is the magic realism part. I really loved, uh, you know, there's a part of it that felt a little like Liar Liar was a real touchstone for us, what women want, the sort of like magic power she gets to hear people's truth, I think added this other element to it. And it was, really, we got to really play. And I also really was so grateful that the team at CME and Real One and Lifetime and Sean let Jake and I really play. We got to add them a little bit and and bring a lot of our own dynamic and chemistry to it. So I think that hopefully comes across on screen in this. Great. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, what was it like working with the rest of the cast and crew on set? Well, yeah, as I've already, you know, alluded to, it was amazing. We shot it very quickly. So you're sort of like running, gunning and going really, really fast on, on most of the days. So the more camaraderie, the better. And it was just so joyful and a lot of laughs. Jake and I are both musical theater kids. So we would play a lot of Lin-Manuel Miranda in between takes. And yeah, just really, really fun. The whole cast is so excellent. And we, we had such a great crew and the crew works together a lot. A lot of that crew has worked together For. So you can feel their ease and their talent and their their ability to work together um, at such a high level. So we were able to get this done really fast. And um, and I think it it you can feel like the fun of it translate on camera. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, what can you tease about your character journey? In this? Um, okay. So what can I tease? Well, as I've said, she's a, she's a truth teller, but I'll say this. She gets tempted by Robert to, I think, bend the truth in certain ways because his take as a real estate agent is you kind of have to bend the truth sometimes. So she's put in some positions that she may not be entirely comfortable with. Um, but she's also like, I think amidst needing this, this uh, her, her work stuff to, to shift and and her life to get back on track, she also starts to develop some feelings, some real feelings for Robert. So I also love the, the budding romance that they have in, in the movie for sure.
Great. And the last question about this movie. What was your favorite scene or moment while filming it? One of my favorite scenes, there were several. Um, I really love, you know, getting to riff with Jake. Jake does this whole section. Some of it's in the trailer where he, he does like a stockings by the tree. There's like this long sort of section that he built on and, and ad-libbed. And it was so fun and funny to react to. That same day where we got like some magical real life snow on the Toronto city streets in March. So it looked gorgeous. We also shot this last minute edition scene that was a late ad to the script. And it's like a walk and talk extension of their date. And, and it was just like really fun and magical. And I, I really, really loved doing that with Jake. And I just, and it was one of those, like, it just felt right. The snow was hitting and it just, it just kind of worked and it was really, really lovely. Yeah. Amazing. So change of uh, subject. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> About a TV series that uh, I hope will uh, coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about your character in Coming Home? Yes, absolutely. So it's I'm so glad you're asking about it because it stars and was created by and is directed by and written by my friend and fellow Lifetime collaborator, Samar Smallwood. So we did Death She Wrote together for Lifetime, very different than, than Sincerely Truly Christmas. I played her stalker and... She won the CSA for it. We were nominated together and Sharon Lewis, our director, was nominated and Emmanuel. So it's a very special project that we met on. Um, and then she she's a, you know, a fellow multi-hyphenate. I'm so inspired by what Samora is doing. And she asked me to come do um, a part on her show, Coming Home, which is a rom-com and inspired by a lot of rom-coms. She's so special in it. So um, <laughs> I play a, a, a mean mommy um, who... You know, definitely talks a lot. Def she's on her way to Pilates and she runs into her old friend and she has a lot to say and she can be very cutting, my character, uh, Rebecca. And I think for me, like, you know, those characters can be can be tough because you want you want to believe that those people exist and that they're not all bad. I kind of um, always look to the great Phil Hartman as someone I love so much and his performance in Jingle All the Way, a Christmas classic to me. Yeah. He plays this very irritating, slimy neighbor who's also hysterical. And I find that to be a real touchstone when playing like villains in a comedy sense. And he's just brilliant. Um, his work was so brilliant. So that for me was like a bit of a way in. Might be a reference people don't um, expect for this, but for me that was that was helpful. And just getting to riff with Samora was so fun. She let me just like play and we tried stuff and she was just like a wonderful leader. Yeah. That's amazing. So, change of subject. We'll watch it and like it. Yes, change of subject. <laughs> <laughs> What have been some of the most memorable projects? you have worked on throughout your career and why for you? Some of the most memorable projects for me, you know, there are several for different reasons. I think I'd be remiss to not say Degrassi, which of course was so special to me, but so special to so many people, like to be on something that reaches so many people, the reach of that show and the importance of that show to so many fans all over the world to still hear from them so many years later, it's just so impactful. So I am so like grateful that I got to be a small part of that franchise, that legacy. That was so special. And, and on, honestly, around the same time as when I started doing Being Erica, which is a very different kind of show that was also so special and just like really, I think uniquely um, this sort of like dramedy, hit this dramedy tone that I hadn't quite seen coming out of Canada at that time. And it gave me some of my my best friends in the world. Aaron Martin and I worked together on Slasher, Aaron Carpluck and Vanessa Antoine. Like they are, you know, in my life every day. So I feel like creatively it was so fulfilling and then really grateful to have um you know these friendships come out of it great so a quick question at survival shows we are big fans of christmas rom-coms of course <laughs> <laughs> what is your all-time favorite I think my all-time favorite is Love Actually, followed closely by The Holiday. Right? You too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so good. And, like, I can watch it every year. I bet you feel this, too. Like, I can watch it any time of year, and it works. Yeah. And it's so funny. And that cast is so good. 
So love actually, and the holidays in a number two position and jingle all the way, which I referenced is probably what I would say always makes me feel good. I don't know that I'd call it a rom-com though. So I'm going with, yeah, I'm going with love actually as number one. Yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> the last question. Yes. Can you tease something about your next projects? Sure. Um, well, I just wrapped four months um, working on set of a TV show that was so fun and very physical and very challenging. And I got to work with so many people I love, cast and crew alike. It has not been announced yet, so I can't say what it is, but it it was just a ball. So I'm I've just finished that and now am continuing to write and develop um, a TV series with my best friend Vanessa Antoine of Being Erica. And um she's currently on Grey's Anatomy. We have a show that we're developing with Shaftesbury Films, who I've who I've worked with on Slasher and Dark Oracle. Um so they're working on it with us and we we are show running and writing that show together and we'll star in it. So that's that's pretty close to my heart and we're uh yeah we're in the trenches of of writing uh we've written the pilot and and pitching it and all of that. So that's we're really really excited. Yeah. So good luck for all your uh, your future product project. <laughs> Thank you. He's so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so this is it. Make sure all of you to go to Sincerely Truly Christmas on Lifetime platform. And thank you, Paula, to join us today. You're so welcome. Thank you for having me. Have a beautiful holiday. Thank you. <laughs> you too. Thank you. It's a pleasure. So <laughs> uh -huh. and thank you all for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>